Hey everyone, welcome to a new video. Client has published another new version. It is version 3.14 and here you see that these are the changes that they have published and with these new changes, client is more powerful because these changes are really beneficial for us. The first changes is improved Gemini caching. Next one is plan to act checkpoints and this is very much powerful and this new rule slash comment and the next one is latex rendering so i will show you one by one changes let's see first one is this caching what is that here you see first up significant improvements to gemini caching not only this gemini caching they have implemented it for the open router and client provider also so what actually happens when we do the api request or when we give the prompts then in that case we are referring the same files again and again and also sometimes during the bug fixing we are referring the same file we are writing the same prompts again and again so in that case it will cache the file or it will cache the input now the what advantage we will get is that the api cost will be reduced here you see that using cache tokens is lower cost than passing in the same corpus of tokens repeatedly now here you see that this is the new things that you will see this cache so previously we had this kind of ui that uh, tokens and this context window and this api cost were there right but now you will see this cache now what is the duration of this cache here you see that they have mentioned in their client github repository change log this is the duration gemini cache ttl is up to 15 minutes and also it is same for this open router cache okay now it will reduce the api cost for your llm model now the next update that they have published is this checkpoints are more frequent we added more checkpoints including right when switching from plan to act mode and easily revert to planning if the initial code generation is not right and offering more granular control okay what is that here you see that if you generate codes using this client in that case first we use the plan mode then we switch to act mode right now after generating the code in the act mode if you find that you are not getting the right code in this act mode in that case you can switch to the plan mode again okay so in that case what you have to do here you see that uh, this is the icon this restore so you have to click on this restore and if you click on this restore then you will see this restore file and task okay so if you click on it then all of the files it has generated will be removed now let me show you that if i scroll up here you see that this was my uh, plan mode checkpoint and now if i click on this restore and if i click on this restore file and task here you will see that all of my files got removed here you see index.file is showing the red color strike through that means it got removed from my uh, repository or the folder so this is the advantage that you will get with this feature now the next features that they have included is this new rule so this is the powerful comment and that they have introduced so what happens that when we are making any project or we are building any project with this client then if we include many people or if we hand over this project uh, to another people then in that case what happens that uh, we have to include one rule file so that they can understand that what was the system guideline that we are following or what is the project context what are the patterns of calling the api okay so in that case we can generate one dot client rules for the consistency and if we manually write the dot client rules then it will be very hectic so in that case we have this new rule comment so just go to your client and here type this slash and here you see that new rule by the way there you will find another new comment also new task and slash small i have already discussed about this uh, new task and slash small in this video here you see that this was the video 
of this client 4.0 so please refer to that video if you want to uh, see that features okay now let's back to this here you see that if you write new rules and select it just write this thing that create a rule that standardizes our design system for future devs who work on this project now what it will do it will create one dot client rules and uh, and also a folder and inside that it will store the whole project rules the patterns the ip calling patterns and the library that we are following the standardization it will store all of that so it is very much necessary and it will make your project more powerful and next the feature is this latex rendering support so here you see that they have given one example and uh, if you want to do any mathematics kind of things in that case here you see that this quadratic equation this root all of these things are supported here they have given this support also and also another thing is that improve drag and drop means drag files from the operating system file explorer we have to hold the shift okay now if you go to this client now if i open my file system here you see that there are many images are there currently they are supporting these images now if i select any of my uh, video thumbnail images this is the frost wind and sun strike model that i have published yesterday if you have not watched this video till now please watch here you see that frost wind and sun strike these are the two new gemini model google secret model these are the stealth model they are currently gathering the feedback so you can try it in this uh, web lm arena i have literally discussed everything in this video so please don't forget to watch this video okay now let's back to our context here you see that uh, if i click on this uh, or if i if i choose this image and now if i hold shift here you see that this drop option is coming now you can drop it, your image here okay and here you see that it got added in my context in this chat now here i can ask it to solve any type of error or whatever the images like if you have shared any prototype image then it will do that image analysis also okay so in this way you can share these images or files with this client and don't forget to hold the shift button when you are dragging and drop these images right and if you found this video helpful guys don't forget to subscribe this channel don't forget to follow this channel don't forget to like this video also so see you guys in the next video thanks for watching